Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and we're here with a new uh, Artist Journey video. So, today we're gonna be talking about strength versus weakness, okay? So, knowing your strengths and your weaknesses are integral to the artist journey, right? Um, similar to like an athlete knowing like their stamina, knowing their strength, right? It will allow you to understand where you can push understand where you need to work on things right um the artist's journey is a long a long thing a lifelong journey right so understanding where your 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 strengths and weaknesses are are integral to making it to the end okay and to surmounting the obstacles that will soon come your way right so that's what we'll be talking about today before we start the video please hit that like hit that subscribe Check out my Prince and Patreon if you want to support the channel. Uh, consider becoming a channel member, right? That's a new one, right? If you if you want to support the channel as well. Um, like I said, I don't really know about the channel membership that much, but if you guys want to support me, uh, consider becoming one, right? So at, least, so at the very least, I could figure it out, right? Um, with all that said, let's get into it. So when we're talking about strengths and weaknesses, I first want to establish kind of like a baseline right what what is already known um to artists in general right so when you first start out you're gonna start out on one of two sides okay there are the line people and there are the shape people okay right and knowing one and one and the other like inherently will show you some strengths and weaknesses right so line people they're really good at seeing the outline of things okay they're really good at drawing, uh, like like I said, line drawings. Okay, um, typically these people are people who sketch more. Okay, people who are maybe better at like doing like cartoons and stuff like that. Okay, and also um, creating uh, in black and white. Okay, right. They don't really like color that much. All right, um, and then there are on the other side shape people. Okay. These people see the silhouette of things. They see the shape of things, the fill in, the mass, okay, right? And typically, these people are better at color and they are better at render, okay, right? And they, but they suck at sketching, right? So, there are the two camps, right? That, that instantly, you will start to understand the divide, okay? And from my experience, from talking to other artists, from seeing other artists, like, in my school days and and just, you know, myself in general, right? Um, I've seen the, these things like are like are actually very true, okay? Um, it's, it's, it's something in the brain. I don't really understand what it is, right? But once you understand one side, then you could understand what are your weaknesses, okay, right? So for example, uh, I am a shape person, right? I enjoy painting, I enjoy color, right? I enjoy, uh, you know, being able to complete pieces, right? Um, I, however, on the flip side, I am not, I like, oh, like I've gotten better, right? But I'm not super talented when it comes to line drawings, okay? I'm not super talented when it comes to, um, sketching, okay? I do not like sketching. I think it's, uh, like, for me, it's like, I, I just don't, I just don't compute with it, right? And like, you know, a lot of artists are like, you know, they think that they are, you know, they're they're very sketch people you know what i mean right and i i can't really relate to that right and despite being you know on the artist journey for so long and you know a lot of people are like you know you got to sketch every day i'm like i i never i've never really like gotten into that right um like even the, even during the times where i'm like drawing a lot in the sketchbook right it's kind of like i'm forcing myself to do it um though naturally i'm not really inclined to do so okay so that is the kind of mind space that I'm, I'm in when I'm thinking about weaknesses and strengths, right? So, um, as a result, you know, I had to practice, okay? Practice a lot of line, okay? Practice a lot of ink drawing, okay? Which is really scary, right? Doing a lot of stuff that, you know, I can't, I can't compensate with um, filling in with like color and stuff, okay? Right? And vice versa, okay? when it comes to people who like I know are sketch artists, right? They are they do not like to um 
fully render pieces, okay? They like to keep it at the line drawing level, right? A finished drawing, they're happy with that, okay? They are usually afraid of color, okay? Right? And, like, I'm not saying this is, like, like a definite. Maybe you've already surmounted this, right? But I know artists who are really, really good, okay? High-level people who are afraid of color, okay? And just naturally inclined to be so, right? Now, you could be more of a shape person and still be afraid of color, right? These things, there's, there's overlap between these things, right? But I'm just trying to tell you the general gist of, like, where the two, the two sides are, right? So you could, you could have one and the other and, like, you know, dip between both, right? But understanding one will allow you to surmise your other weaknesses, okay, basically. So, as you know, I'm a person who was uh, weak with, uh, with line, right? So that during my school days, I would spend extra time um, making a lot of line drawings, okay? Because I knew that, like, I was, like, naturally weak with that, right? But on the flip side, you know, I had my painting, okay? I could really, I really knew how to paint, okay? And like, from even from like, uh, like the high school days, right? I was much stronger in painting, much stronger in color, right? Those were things that I just enjoyed inherently, right? And understanding that um, the things that you enjoy inherently, those are usually gonna be your strengths, man, okay? Because you're like, you like it, you think these, that's the best part of your work, right? That's honestly where you can push okay a natural talent like that that's something you could really really push and that honestly is what will probably make you uh, stand out from the crowd okay but not working on your weaknesses okay will s prevent you from growing okay because um, you're gonna realize that your weaknesses cut you off at a certain level right and your strengths like though it may push you right then you have to like it's gonna start dragging right you understand like like you see this like you're like you're tra like like here is the things that you like here's the things that you don't like right it's gonna go ooh, right and then eventually it's like it's like ooh, ooh, because you're gonna need to bring it both up you need to rise with it and that comes in the form of working on your weaknesses right now working on your weaknesses is like it's a scary proposition right because like for example if you're really good already in one portion right it's it's going to be scary for you to suck again okay right so um and i know like i know a lot of artists who like i said are really really good in their in whatever they do right and they they stick to it okay they stick to it and they know they have that weakness right however it holds them back right and the result is what stagnation okay and artist stagnation i think is one of the like like it's the silent killer basically right because a lot of people they stick to their style they stick to like what they what they know is successful right and like the thing is is that their art kind of just keeps looking the same right it's just it's the same stuff they know it works they know they like it and it's their style and you know what dude like like that's not too bad okay right like understanding like what your style is and like and like that people enjoy it that's okay right but on the artist's journey right it's not about the other people okay it's not about uh like how much people like your stuff okay or about like even money or anything the artist's journey is about how your art develops inside you okay and changes with the times and yourself right so you want to constantly be evolving right you on constantly want to be getting better and better and better and changing right the best artists work like that okay and you know what dude there are examples of artists who don't really change their work right but have maxed themselves out and understood like this is this is like this is so good and like so high level that i want to stay right here right and they could continue right um, people, but like, even the artists who do that understand and feel like maybe they haven't changed that much, right? Perfect example, Norman Rockwell, okay? Um, I've read a lot of Norman Rockwell, right? I've read like his entire book, right? And he even states himself, right, that in his artist journey, he though he's made so many great pieces, right? One thing that he really regrets 
is that he was afraid of experimentation, okay? Like, once he found his thing, he just stuck to it, right? And, like, by the end of his life, he was saying, like, like you know, that the one big regret as an artist that he had was that he was not, like, that he wasn't willing to experiment more, that he wasn't willing to evolve more as an artist, right? And, you know, he, he even said, like, he saw other artists who like who changed and evolved and like you know they changed their style they they went to a completely different medium and he really admired that about them right that like in a way that he was locked in by fear to stay in his in his lane and you know he did a really good job and he's a legendary artist right and you don't like you don't expect that kind of thing from someone who's that good right but it's a real feeling okay and you don't want to be stagnant okay to be stagnant is almost death for an artist, right? Now, that was an example of an artist who, you know, stayed, you know, in a one spot and was like really good. However, right, in your artist's journey, it's like, if you stay stagnant, it's like staying, if you're making the, the climb up the mountain, it's like staying in one spot of the mountain and just going horizontally, left and right, okay, whoop, 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 whoop. but the whole point is to go up is to continue to ascend and ascend and ascend because you don't know what kind of work you're going to be producing at the other at the other end of it, right? A good example is Picasso, right? Who started off um, very, very high level, right? But as things went, as he went further and further, he became more abstract and more, uh, it focused on being more childlike, right? In his drawings, right? And though, like, yeah, you know, like, his early stuff, super good, right? But what really made him famous, what really made people feel like people had work that connected with them was the work at the other end of the spectrum, right? Where he started to change his work, right? Wanted to communicate something, right? And so, you know, um, understanding that, like, you got to keep ascending, right? You got to keep climbing. That's a really important part of the artist's journey, right? And it has nothing to do with other people and how they perceive your work, right? That's just history, okay, right? And you know what? Like, I don't, don't, I don't shame people who stick to what they know and, like, because it, it makes them money or it, it, it's, like, what's made them successful, right? Like, but, however, understand that within you, internally, you're going to understand, like, because, like, that you aren't progressing, you know and that's a that's a almost that's a very it's a hard thing to take you know because you're like i'm just in the same spot and this you know like doing the same thing and then it becomes boring okay and that's where you start fe feeling things like burnout okay loss of passion okay um just feeling like your work is is just like meh you know and then like you can never compare to the greats right because the greats continue to evolve right and even if it's like in a subtle way right it doesn't have to be so crazy like picasso right um learning to to keep going and and like keep working on those weaknesses right and to just change things up right um these will allow you to push forward right and to keep evolving and to keep growing right um just like in real life you know just like it's 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 about it's about constantly growing okay and not being the same person you were yesterday right you want your art to evolve in the same manner right so you know um for me right like i like i've changed my art like so many times right and right now i'm i'm i've rested on oil painting right because this it's a long thing to master right but Honestly, I don't know, like maybe in a couple of years, I'll just switch mediums or something like that, right? Or make a huge change, right? You know, I, I, I used to do digital for, for like so many years and then I made the huge switch to oil, you know? No, honestly, you know, it's because of my condition in my hands, right? But um, it's one that I made willingly, right? And I understood that like, you know, like at a certain point, like there needs to be a change, right? Because you can't just cling on to the things that make you feel safe. Okay, you have to be willing to take the risk, okay? And in most cases, your audience are willing to go with you on that ride. If they're, if they're really your fans, if they really care about your artist's journey, they will follow you, okay?
okay? So don't be afraid of, of making those changes, right? And, you know, a lot of times, if you're working on your weakness, you don't really need to show other people, right? You don't need to, like, you know, be posted online or anything, right? Um, it would be good because it could show your audience that, like, hey, I'm weak too, I, I have weaknesses, and I want to grow them, right? And <clears throat> being willing to show those things is very important to for other artists to see so you know it could be worthwhile to show it but if you're too scared if you're too embarrassed if you don't want to like pollute your your page or whatever with your bad art quote unquote right then that's fine just keep a notebook that you could just do for yourself right work on your weaknesses right and when it gets to that level that you feel comfortable enough to post it then you can post it Right? Send it out and see like what people think. You're like, hey, I like this, you know? Send it out, right? <clears throat> and it shows that you're willing to work on the things that you're afraid of, right? And, you know, just like in life, right? To work on the things you're weak you're weak on, right? To understand the things that you're you're scared of and like you're kind of nervous about it and being willing to uh output that you've changed, right? That's such a good thing. Right, and it's, it works. It works just as well in art. Okay, so if you're feeling stagnant, if you're feeling like, hey, I'm I'm feeling burnout. If you're feeling like, oh, I, I just don't feel like I'm I'm improving at all. Right, then maybe it's not that you're 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 doing the thing that will make you evolve. Right, and you're working on your strengths. Right, you you've pushed on the you've pushed so far in the things that make you strong right you forgot about the the back part right and then like i said it boop, 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 keeps you stagnant right so work on those weaknesses okay then it will give you that slack you need to push those things again right and um yeah um i think we can end the video here guys please if you enjoyed this video hit that like hit that subscribe check out my prince and patreon if you want to support the channel uh, ring that bell for notification. Uh, consider becoming a channel member if you want to support the channel. Uh, all that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.